Hello YouTube! Before I continue with the tutorial, there's something I want to ask you guys for a favor. Um, if you don't mind, recommend my videos to your friends if you like this video to help me get enough AdSense money to help get a new computer for faster recordings and faster uploading. Because God knows that I need this computer because this computer is pathetically slow on right now. So with that said, let's get started with what I wanted to show you. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install the SDK or Android SDK and NDK for Game Maker to actually make it where you can use it. So for this, we will be needing the BlueStack Simulator, which I'll be having links to everything you need to, uh, need in the uh, description of this video. But we'll be needing the BlueStack Android Emulator, the ADT Android Bundle, um, and the Android NDT R8 uh, downloads. All right, so once you download these, first thing you want to do is install the emulator. The emulator is what we're, what we're going to be using to test our games on. So after installing the emulator, then we want to go and start installing the SDKs for, that we're going to be using for the game. So I've already got them extracted and installed already, but I'm going to show you how to install them. So first, let's do the NDK. The NDK is pretty simple on installing it. So I'm going to open up a folder. All right, so when installing this, just put this to any directory. I have mine in my C, Android, NDK directory. Sorry guys, uh, where was I? My sister called me and interrupted the video. Um, anyways, the NDK, so I'm not sure exactly what this stands for, but I know you need this for GameMaker in order to be able to export to Android with. And you don't really have to worry about license if you're just testing with the emulator. You don't have to worry about license until after you go to actually publish the game, so if you're making the game, don't need to worry about it until then. So. First things first, let's go ahead and get our NDK directory after extracting it. You don't have to do anything else, just extract it. Then just copy the link. Then let's go to our game we want to set up the NDK, uh, SDK for. Go to File, Preferences, then select the Android tab. Alright, now where it says Android NDK location, I've already got mine pasted there. Just pa uh, paste the directory there. And then now let's go ahead and get the SDK set up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just close this off again and minimize it. All right, so now that we have the NDK out of the way, let's go and set up our SDK. All right, so uh, let me look at that again. Um, and about forgot to remind you guys, uh, you will need Java uh, to actually export to export as well. So now let's get our SDK set up. So go to our where we extracted our SDK ADT bundle right here. Go to wherever you extracted it and launch the SDK manager. You got to run it. It'll take a little while for it to actually start up, so give it a few moments, guys. Alright, so once it starts up, you should get a screen like this. I've already got everything installed, so I recommend just for security, or just for, uh, for making sure your API doesn't derp out, installing every single one of these files. So I'm just going to minimize all this. The way you do that is just check mark, check mark all of these boxes. So on, so on, and, so, and just go to install packages and install every one of the packages. Just accept the licenses and everything, then just install them. It will take an extremely long time. So this took a total of like six hours for me to install everything. But this will also make sure you have access to everything for the SDK. So just make sure you do that. Now after install, after doing that, you will get or go inside your SDK SDK folder right here and copy its directory. Then go back to your game. Go back to File, Preferences, and the Android tab, and paste the, S, uh, the SDK directory up here. Then just check the Android SDK and Android NDK to make sure they're all right. So both mine are all okay. Are okay. So now that's pretty much it for setting it up, because should also automatically get the uh, Java JDK directory as well. If you don't, just go ahead and get that directory. Mine's just in my program files, just the default location. Um, and yeah, you don't have to worry about the key store until you go to actually publish. I have, I have, that's the default key store I'm using right now, so yeah. Alright, so now that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and look at our emulator. Let me go ahead and just minimize this. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, once you install it, you should come to a screen like this. Uh, this will take a few moments for it to load, so yeah, give this some time as well. Then I'm going to show you how to actually test your GameMaker game with this. To make sure, before you start up GameMaker, you have this launched, so you should test directly on this. So let me go ahead and restart my GameMaker real fast, alright? So give me a few seconds, guys. Let's go ahead and just, yeah, Let's shut that off. Oh, while I was waiting for GameMaker to load, um, the... 
Blue's decks has loaded. So let's see what the main menu looks like so you can see it for yourself. And, and once it's all up and loaded, you should get, come to a menu similar to this. It's actually how mine looks. So, yeah. Um, don't worry, you don't need to file browser or anything like that. So you just use the regular version that you got. Uh, forget about this. It's something that Game Maker, the Yo-Yo Runner, some Game Maker automatically installed whenever everyone to use this. So you don't really need to have that installed. Um, so let's go ahead and back, open back up our uh, Game Maker project. Um... Alright, so we have our project open. Just go ahead and close off that. Now, just make sure you have the Android uh, target selected. If you just try uh, running it first as the Android YYC, that will actually give it a lot of errors. So don't use that for your first launch. So just go ahead and choose this version. And just first, before we do this, that way that, that we know it works, just create a simple object with a sprite. So right here, new 32 by 32. Uh, here and L do 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 oops there close enough smiley face all right so let's go ahead and center this just for the heck of it I don't know just OCD if I don't lol all right just make an object give it the sprite and make room put the object in the room so let's go do that real fast and by the way, if you haven't guessed, I'm using the Master Edition of Game Maker, so that's why I have access to everything. Okay, so now let's go do a test launch with the game. So I'm going to pause the video while it, comp it does a compile, so yeah. And it's almost done compiling, so yeah. Uh, in a moment, it will actually automatically start up on your Android emulator. And there we go. As you see, it's starting up on my Android emulator, and you hear your command prompt says something like this. Which, don't worry about that. That's not giving any errors. It's showing you the compile log for the Android emulator. But as you can see, it runs on the Android just fine, and that's just BlueStacks derping out. Just ignore that application error derp message. But yeah, that is how you install and run your Android games on GameMaker. So God, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, au revoir and see you in the next video.